today is Food for Thought comes from the 14th chapter of Exodus, verses 15 and 16, which reads, And the Lord said to Moses, Why do you cry to me? Tell the children of Israel to go forward. But lift up your rod and stretch out your hand over the sea and divide it. And the children of Israel shall go on dry ground through the midst of the sea. We want our blessings from the Lord, and he often tells us that our blessings, they are right there before us. All we have to do is go and get it. When you hear the Lord through the Holy Spirit giving you this kind of encouragement, do you then get up? Do you then strive to get your blessing or are you reluctant? Do you hesitate? Many of us, we will say that we strive towards our blessings, but the truth of the matter is that many of us, we are like how the children of Israel were at the Red Sea. Moses and the children of Israel in the scripture, they were trapped at the Red Sea with the Red Sea being before them and Pharaoh was at their backs. The children of Israel, they were trembling in fear, believing that Moses had brought them out of Egypt right there to die. Moses, on the other hand, was busy fighting against their reluctance while also praying to the Lord. And God, as we can see here in this scripture, said to Moses, why do you cry to me? You see, this was said because the Lord had already promised the blessing to the children of Israel and to Moses. All that they had to do was move in faith, go and get it. When it comes to our blessings from the Lord, this same thing is true for us. Some of us, we are reluctant to move to our blessings because of what might be ahead of us, especially when what is ahead of us appears to be difficult. We will repeatedly pray to God about our blessing when the Lord will say to us, move, go and get it. It's already there. Regardless of what is ahead of you, I say to you today, when God tells you that your blessings are before you, you should get up and you should go to your blessings. Don't sit around. Don't hesitate. Move. Move.